the Eel River. We were doing some fishing. Didn't show you that because we're just enjoying it too much. I caught a couple things and they were fish. And I've been looking and collecting these pieces of awesome shirt that are all along here. There's cool serpentine too. But I just feel like showing it to you because it is so pure and green. And this is uh, below Myers Flat, about 10 miles on the Eel River. And we're on Hooker Creek Road, I believe. I'll pinpoint it and uh, lots of red jaspers, shirts, red shirts, quartz mixes. And, oh, here's a perfect example pieces of shirt that are at this degree. So, I was just casting my pole to the base of that at the base of the rapids. Best angle for these greens. There you go. Pure stuff. So many just crazy green shining up at us. Look at these pieces, they're just, that's crazy green and pure. Just polish up nice. Now look, just, uh oh, we dropped that one. In the water in front of us. It's a jasper with little lacy agate pieces going all through it. Look at that chunk. This one's got whites, aquas. And then deep forest green on the outside. There's a slice of a baked loaf. Definite piece of ribbon shirt. Comes in layers like that because it's sedimentary origin origins at the base of the uh, bottom of the ocean. This one's real broken up, but it's a uh, still solid. You could still cut it. They're old, healed fractures, but very kind of aqua toned. It's a serpentine, but it is just very crystalline. That would slice and probably be translucent. So. This road goes for about 10 miles along here like a frontage road and just has pull-outs where you can get down to these, these beaches. It's a gorgeous zone, just aqua green waters. Redwood stacked up to the very edge. And yeah, that's Highway 101 right there. Green of this one. So much too dark to pick up with that. Look at this piece of chert. Goes from red, orange, and the green in one st stone and almost has striation running through the whole thing. Real pure. Like its uh, layers were divided up, is what I'm trying to say. When this gelatin set up, when this salacious ooze solidified, something made that red and that green in its constitution. What's that? 
It's that. Quartz vein running through shale, looking really cool. And a piece of blue schist like creature with some green serpentine mixed in. Some little white crystals that grew in there. Big old chunks of green. Just walking along, looking at all the cool little colors. And of course, collecting the green. That's creepy. I wonder why there's ripples. Maybe something huge just moved upstream. These conglomerates would probably look pretty cool. That's old sedimentary stone, but instead of being fine sand like sandstone, it was little sand pebbles. They've concreted again. We're going to start working our way back. This was just a little stop by to see what was here. Cut a 12 inch squaw fish. There's little brook trout and serpentines. Oh, yeah. Absolute blue of the schist, it's crazy we're gonna bring that home. Hope the camera's picking that up. Wow, and then the green of the serpentine. And that might uh, slice up and be see-through like bonite. I see that it has low dendritic growths in it. So definitely a serpentine, we'll have to see what grade and metamorphic stage it's in once we cut it. Each spot I stop, get a little swirls of quartz or agate, however. Probably just quartz, I don't see any lines in it, but just going to this yellow, orangey, chert, gobby piece. And I was actually stopping for yet another one of these little pure. These are the cherts and they break out kind of square because it comes in sedimentary layers. And then just pure, pure. Oh, good stuff. We will see you guys down the road. Thank you for joining me on this little quest for details. And I hope you get out there and enjoy the sunshine. If not, you're always invited with me. That's half the reason I do this. Hope you enjoy the views as much as I do.